My guest today is Councillor Deirdre Brock mm -hmm. of the SNP. That's right, yes. Now, Deirdre, mm -hmm. you have to forgive me if I occasionally stick in an R where there isn't one. In yeah, Deirdre. it's okay, yes, I know, I know. I don't know, I grew up with. Uh, no, I went to school with someone called Deirdre. It's the most common spelling, but my mother was in hospital and read a romantic novel. I was going to be Vanessa. And the romantic novel spelt it without the two R's, which is traditionally... Well, it could have been worse. It could have been called Brooklyn. Indeed. Or the modern like uh, that. <laughs> theme is quite different. <laughs> <laughs> Deirdre, the viewer and listener will have gathered by now that uh, you don't actually hail originally from Scotland. No, I don't. Well spotted. Um, no, I'm from Australia. I grew up in Perth, in Western Australia. Well, I have a friend... Long term friend, Juanita, a blonde lady from Perth. Um, she's been here 15 years in Edinburgh. Well, yeah. she's in Falkirk now, but. Uh, yeah. Yes, I gather Perth is the, the remotest city. Yes, yes, that's right. From it's anywhere else. From anywhere right. else. Yes, uh huh. And yes, yet, I apparently, so. a very pleasant place to live. It's an extremely pleasant place to live. Beautiful beaches. And did you feel fortunate weather. growing up there then? Uh, well, you know, when you're a kid, you just take these things for granted, I suppose. But now I look back and think, yes, it was pretty idyllic. I had a pretty um, free-ranging childhood. But then I think we all did, really, in a way, didn't we? I mean, I could go out for hours and hours. My mum wouldn't worry about me. She'd pack a lunch and mm. off you go. And I'd head off on my bike with my friends and not be seen. So, so when... Oh, yeah, I gather you, you, you've trained, you're a tra in drama, you trained in drama. You're an actor. I did, yes, yes. I did um, a Bachelor of Arts in English and then I went to um, a performing arts academy over there. It's uh, state-run and funded. So I did that three years full-time. So that was a brilliant experience. Was did that lead to any acting work or directing work? Yes, I got some. Not directing, no. Um, but, yes, I went... I moved fairly quickly over to Sydney after I graduated. And stayed there for about ten years, but it's a tough life being an actor. So you don't appear on anything like Neighbours or, or Home and Away? or. Well, I was in Home and Away, which I admitted once and but you were constantly reminded of. But it was literally two days' work, it was all. But okay. I was on other things like Country Practice, but a lot of those you only... You didn't really get over in the UK. Um, I think country practice was only ever much. daytime. Yeah, in, yeah. The, in, the, in, in the days when daytime wasn't even watched. No, <laughs> indeed, those were the days. Kind of, yeah, I must confession, I must have seen it. Otherwise, they wouldn't have recognised what you were talking about. So well, you came to the UK, which is not surprising. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of Aussies do. Yep, yep. Um, yes, I came here about nearly seventeen years ago, and. My sister had lived here, she'd been living here for about six or seven years. By here, prior you, mean, to that. you mean Edinburgh? In Edinburgh, yeah. Oh, right. yeah. Well, it was funny, it sort of happened to both of us. She was doing a round the world trip, got to Edinburgh, met a Scot, stayed. I came to visit her, and a month later, met a Scot, and now we have two children. These are the things that happen, of course, in life. Yes, yes. Oh, so yeah. you've been, you're a well-integrated uh, Aussie into Scotland now, I dare say. Now, as bad. you say, and you um, represent the SNP, which I do. is not that surprising, as we've come to discover, that uh, mm -hmm. I can think of um, Canadian, Rob Munn. Yep. Uh, Mike Russell, who's an Englishman. Mm -hmm. English, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I could go on, but yeah, that, no, no, no. There's a whole range of, of all kinds of different people. Nationalities different. And um, so we we figured out kind of where you come from, how you got here and why you stayed. Mm -hmm. I noticed that somewhere in there it, it, it mentioned that, that you, you were a PA. Was that the right? Was I was a right PA, right? that's right. Yes, personal, yeah, personal assistant. So I was um, a PA to Rob Gibson, who's an right. MSP down in the Scottish Parliament. He's, uh, he was then uh, just a list MSP for the Highlands and Islands, but he now represents Caithness and Sutherland. And... Um, uh, prior to that, I'd worked as a PA in a wine company because when I was an actor, mm -hmm. one spends quite a lot of time resting. And um, as you can imagine, unless you're very, very successful. And uh, and I worked over in uh, Sydney for a wine company for quite a few years. Mm -hmm. mm, it was good. You weren't, tempted to get into the you weren't tempted to get into the whiskey trade once you got to Edinburgh? Well, funnily enough, the wine company I worked for here, a South African wine company, they did do a little bit of... Um, mm -hmm. Dabbling, if you like, with 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 whiskey, and I did a little couple of tastings of that. It was very interesting, actually. Okay, the one, the final personal question is, what got you into politics? 
Well, <coughs> I've always in, I've always been interested in in politics. My father was um, always interested in politics. He uh, over in Australia, there's sort of more of a straight choice, if you like, between the Conservatives, otherwise confusingly called the Liberals, and the Labour Party. Um, and sort of smaller parties, but those were the two, you know, the, the biggies slugging it out at every election. And uh, and my father was very interested in politics. I was, you know, I grew up in the, the Whitlam era and um, the sacking of our prime minister and so on. And well, then when I came here, hmm? there's a lesson in that for Scotland, wasn't mm, there? Well, mm -hmm. governor generals, mm, governor generals, yes, taking it on themselves. Um, and uh, and then when I came here, really, I, I suppose my parents-in-law have been members of the party for well over thirty oh. years, a long, long time. You married into it. Yeah, I suppose <laughs> I did. Yeah, I thought of it that way. <laughs> no, I hadn't. But you know, in the sixties, they were students, and, and they were very involved with uh, the SNP then. But also, um, what really drove me to join the party, and I suppose become you know more into frontline politics, if you like, was um, the ninety-nine. Uh, you know, Scottish parliamentary elections and the some of the press and what they were claiming about the SNP and I'd sort of look at my mother and father-in-law who were sort of pillars of the community although they'd be horrified to hear them described <laughs> in that way but they are, you know, they're really mm. at the heart of their community they're very, very involved, very busy, great people and then what the press, press were saying right. about people in the SNP and I just thought, and I marched into the shop that they had at the time on Leith Walk and joined up Oh, <coughs> uh, well, thank you very much. <laughs>